Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to switch the camera to different car parts while it is locked onto any part, let's begin. First of all we need to stabilize the video and lock on in the center. To stabilize the video, I will use a track camera and stabilize motion as well, but before that, make sure to pre-compose your clip. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and hit OK. Now double click on the pre-composed layer to go inside it and then click on track camera. For better analysis results, expand the advanced and check detailed analysis, after that, change the shot type to specify angle of view. Also change horizontal angle of view to around 40, and then let's wait until analyzing is finished. Once it's done, I will scroll the video to find some good points around the car badge. In my case, there are no points visible, which is very important because I'm going to lock onto the car logo. This means I need to have points there to ensure smoother lock-on stabilization. To make the tracking points visible on the logo, you can adjust the horizontal angle of view by increasing or decreasing it until the points appear. And here we go, I can now select the tracking points on the logo, then right-click and choose Create Solid and Camera. Now make the solid smaller in size, and make sure it is perfectly centered on the logo. Once you're satisfied with it, make sure to toggle off your clip so that only the track solid is visible on the screen. Then scroll to the beginning of the timeline, select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Now go to the tracker panel and click on Stabilize Motion. Make the track point slightly larger, then move it onto the small solid. For smoother tracking results, click on Options, select RGB, check Adapt feature on every frame, and hit OK. Now click the Analyze Forward button and wait until it's complete. Once it's done, click Apply here and then hit OK. Now close Tracking window and then double-click on Pre-Composed Layer. Make sure to toggle off Track Solid Layer and toggle on your clip. Now you can close the Pre-Composed tab and check the stabilization. Everything looks smooth, so let's move on to centering the car badge. Enable proportional grid from here, it will help you to find the very center of the screen. Now I will drag the clip until the badge is perfectly centered. As you can see while playing the video, the badge is locked on with 100% accuracy. The only issue left is the black edges, and the solution is simply to scale the video until they disappear. After scaling the video, make sure to recenter your clip. Let's check it one more time. The stabilization part is done. Now let me show you how to switch and lock onto other car parts. Create a new null object. Then drag your clips pick whip and parent it to the null layer. On a null layer, press P on your keyboard, then scroll to the point where you want to switch and lock onto another car part. Click the position stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Then scroll forward a bit and adjust the X and Y positions to switch to another car part, in my case it's the headlight. Just make sure to keep it perfectly centered as well. In this case, my camera will switch from the car badge to the headlight, with both parts perfectly centered. Now let's select both position keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to Graph Editor, right click here and select Edit Speed Graph and then make a smooth curve. You can create different types of curves to suit your style. The camera switch can be smooth or sharp. Let me show you both curve types and how they look. This curve always looks good to me because it's smooth without being too sharp. Now let's make it a bit sharper. That looks good and now let's make the curve much smoother. That also looks good, but I think the sharper curve with a touch of smoothness looks better overall. Once you're done with the curve, close the graph editor and check the video for black edges. For me, it showed up at the end of the clip. I'll scale the video up a bit until the black edges disappear, then let's check the final result. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.